Good day students, welcome to MathGutServe.com. In this introductory geometry tutorial, we're going to be going over how to name angles, size and vertices. We'll also talk about how to classify points as being either in the interior of an angle, on the angle or being on the exterior. Let's take a look at question number one. The instructions are for us to name the vertex, the sides of the angle, and we're to name the angle itself and the angle in four ways, okay, and the angle in four different ways. Okay, so let's take a look at this angle here for question number one. So let's say we have an angle that looks something like this. And this point here is B. Angle is one. And then we have a point on this ray C. And we have another point on this ray A. Okay, let's start by um, naming the vertex. Now the vertex um, takes on different meanings. In the context of this diagram that we have here, the vertex is basically the common point where these two rays begin. Okay, so that's what the vertex means. So the common point where these two rays, ray B, C, and B, A meet is at point B. Okay, so uh, the vertex is going to be B. Now let's mo move on to the next part of uh, question one, which is the sides of the angle. Okay, what are the sides of the angle? These two rays with a common point or vertex B are the sides of the angle. So the sides are going to be, we start from the vertex and go in the direction of the two rays. So the first side is BC, or the ray pointing outward. This basically means that um, B is where the point originates from, or the ray, and then it goes in the direction of C. And then the next side of the angle is B A. Following the same pattern, indicating that the ray starts from B and goes in the direction of A. Now the last part requires us to um, name the angle in four different ways. Okay? So let's go ahead and name the angle. Now we can name the angle using these three points, C, B, and A. B, the interior point, or the vertex, is going to be at the middle, okay? So we're going to name it angle C, B, A. That's the first way you can name this angle. You can also name it angle starting from A, A, B, C. When you're naming the angles with these points, you have to ensure that the vertex point is at the middle, as you can see here. Another way you can name this angle is by simply using the vertex alphabet. You can call this angle B. And then the last way you can na name this angle is by using the numerical value that's assigned to the angle, and that is angle 1. So these are the four different ways that um, you can name this angle. Why is this important? Whenever you're dealing with geometry problems, there isn't a particular way that the angle will be presented. It could be presented using the numerical representation, or you could just be given a vertex alphabet, or you can be given um, the description of the angle using these three points. So it's important that you know the different ways in which to name an angle so you can basically solve a problem regardless of whichever format it is presented in. 
Now let's consider another example. In this case, we're going to look at angle GEO. Okay, so we're still following the same instructions as we did in the previous problem. We're going to name the vertex, the sides, and we'll name the angle in four different ways. Okay, so let's see, this is the angle right here, and we have a point G and another point O. Let's start with the vertex. Now what is the vertex in this diagram? The vertex is basically the common point where the two rays originate or where they meet. Okay? So the vertex here is going to be point E. Okay, now what are the sides of the angle? The sides of the angle are these two rays which have a common point of origination, vertex point E. So when we are labeling the sides, remember we're going to start from the origin or the vertex and go in the direction of the two um, points. Okay, so the first side is EG, the ray pointing in that direction indicating that you're starting from E and going in the direction of G. And then you also have EO, starting from E and heading in the direction of O. So these are the two sides of the angle. Now let's go ahead and name the angle in four ways. So what are the four different ways we can name this angle based on how it is presented here? We can name this angle with this numerical value that has been assigned to this angle. So angle 4 is one way of naming it. We can also name the angle using the vertex. Okay, so what's the vertex? The vertex here is E. So we can name the angle, angle E. We can also name the angle using these three points G, E, and O. But in whichever direction we choose, E has to be the alphabet in the center since it is the vertex, okay? So we can name it angle GEO or we can name it angle OEG. You notice that E is in the middle um, in these two ways of naming the angle. All right, so these are the four different ways that you can name this angle presented here. Okay, now let's take a look at question number three. We have a different set of instructions here. For question three, we have to name all the angles that um, have vertex O. Okay? So let's consider this scenario right here. Fix this point. Okay. Now let's say we have this um, diagram here. This is vertex O, angle A, B, and then we have these points on this ray. We have G here, we have point T on this ray in the middle, and then we have point P here at the bottom. Okay, so the question is which angles um, have vertex O? Angles with vertex O. Okay, so the first one, we can clearly see that angle A has vertex O right next to it. So we have angle A as one of them. How about angle B? Does it have vertex O on it? Absolutely. Angle B has vertex O on it too. So let's write it down, angle B. <clears throat> All 
All right, are those all the angles that um, have vertex O? How about the bigger angle? The combination of angle A and B, that's angle GOP, okay? So angle GOP also has vertex O. Now let's take a look at question number four, the last in this clip. In question four, we are to state um, which points on the given figure um, that are on first of all the point that the point or points that are on the interior two the point of points that are on the exterior, three, the point of points that are on uh, angle A, B, C. Okay, so we're doing multiple things here. Let's go ahead and start by drawing angle A, B, C. So we have angle A, B, C and the following configuration. So this is point A. This is B, the vertex, angle B, and we have point C right here. Okay, so we have point R, we have point P, we have point S right here on this ray, we have point Q over here, and then point M right here. Okay, so let's start with the points on the interior. Okay, so um, points on the interior. of angle ABC. Let's take a look at um, what they are. So what's the interior of angle ABC? The interior of angle ABC are basically the collection of points that lie between these two rays. Okay, so um, the region that these two rays cover right here it just goes on and on and on and on and keeps getting wider as you go out. So this region that these two rays bound are known as the interior. So interior are the collection of points between um, these two sides. Okay? So if I extend these two sides Forever, what points given in this diagram will be bounded by them? We can clearly see that points R and P are in between these two sides. What does that mean? It means that these two points are on the interior of angle ABC. Okay, so we have points R and P. Now, next question is what points are on the exterior points on the exterior of angle ABC. The points there on the exterior are the points that are not on the line, they are not on these rays here, and they're not on the interior. Okay, so any points on the outer region that's not bounded by these two rays, so anywhere in this region right here going out, that's um, the exterior of the angle. So if you think about this entire space right here going forever, okay, that's basically the exterior. Right here is the interior, this is on the angle, and this region right here is the exterior, okay? So let's go ahead and um, 
label the points or indicate the points that are on the exterior. We can clearly see that points M and Q are on the exterior of angle ABC. Okay? So we have points M and Q. All right, the last part. What are the points that are on angle ABC? The points that lay on ray BO, I'm sorry, ray BA or BC are the points that are on the angle. Okay? So if it's on this line, it's on the angle, on this ray. Okay? And if any point on this ray, that point is on the angle. Okay, so what points are either on ray BA or BC? Those will be classified as points on uh, triangle ABC. So whenever you have an angle, you have points that are either on the angle, points on the interior, or points on the exterior. Okay, so points on the uh, angle, as indicated earlier, are the points on ray BA or BC and the only point on the angle is point S. So point S is on uh, point S is on um, triangle ABC. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of the foundations of geometry, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and supportive to us. If you have any questions or comments on the material we covered in this presentation or any um, geometry concept in general, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. We update videos to our YouTube page on a regular basis, so do subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to those great tutorials. More resources can be found on mathcutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.